Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Saint John Here's Another Dark Second Edition. This is my top five mages, finally. So, without further ado, I mean, I think we should start with number five, which is going to be ta da! Kalara! Kalara, Kalara, where is your dragon? Right, so she has movement free. I oh, don't know, I'm still working on it. Movement free, uh, 10 health, 4 fatigue, 4, four stamps, sorry, with a Grey, three, three, four, one. That's that's not really all that bad, you know. That's it's, it's very yeah, intriguing for uh, having a might of three, four, a mage. The hero ability is you have bright blaze familiar. Yay! At the start of each encounter, place bright blaze in the closest empty space to you. Which means if you have her a little bit more to the front, you could get Bright Blaze a little bit more further where you want him to be. And Bright Blaze is not really a pushover, as you see, with a movement of 5, 6 health, and a grey defence dice. Uh, it's, it is a melee, so uh, this familiar is treated as a figure. It may perform one melee attack during its activation using the dice and abilities of a magic weapon you have equipped. Uh, okay, so really off the bat, I mean, at the start, it, it's kind of a little bit weak. Uh, and that's until uh, when you find some Act 1 good weapon, well, magic weapons, that is, because it's got a big one, magic one, then you can equip not only Kalara, but also Bright Blaze as well. So it affects both of them, which is very good. So let's have a take a look at her heroic feat. So we have as an action, if Bright Blaze is not on the map, place Bright Blaze in an empty space adjacent to you. That means uh, Bright Blaze might have died or something. And, and then uh, you just g uh, give uh, uh, him uh, the, the chance to do stuff because then immediately activate Bright Blaze Bright Blaze also activates this turn as normal, which is uh, is is one of those surprise things. And there's also a surprise. I mean, why would you not want to do this almost automatically during the turn? Because it does take an action to use. However, remember, Bright Blaze uh, does have a movement of five with six health, so he could be a distraction. Well, actually, I'll say he. Uh, well, it kind of is more for uh, an it, I think, because, um, well, I'm not too sure if Bright Blaze is male or female, as it does say it. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe you could just go ahead and uh, decide for yourself if you're using Kalara. Decide if Bright Blaze is male or female, or even gender neutral, why not? That's number five, though. Number four is Leoric of the Book. Okay, so he has movement for eight health, five for Stam, and a great defense. So there's the one, two, five, three. That's really good. Right, so the hero ability, remember, is. Each monster within three space of you, of you receives minus one damage on all attack rolls. To a minimum of one, so mm, that's actually not so bad. Although you do have to get close to the monsters, but if you've got a, a party of four, you know, why not? You could easily do that and be alive. It's uh, handy with uh, everyone else, and you don't even need a line of sight either, which is yet a good ab ability. Heroic feat, right, as an action because it's that. So perform an attack with a magic weapon. Well, why would you not want to? This attack ignores range and targets each figure adjacent to you. One attack roll is made, but each figure rolls defense dice separately. Which, you, you know, if, if, if you could put him in a very good position and uh, do his uh, aura blast thing, uh, you're laughing, especially if he's got a decent weapon. And uh, even if he hasn't, I mean, you know, it's going to be close in the enemies anyway, because it's only going to be doing, like, uh, maybe in between 
zero because you know you might get a high dice roll and all that stuff to about uh, if I say about maximum four yeah this is where I'm adding a uh, blue uh, with a yellow or red uh, I mean you can't go wrong with that because uh, I'm also thinking of surges as well so yeah, yeah, damage, minus one, doing a little blast around uh, enemies, because you always got to keep moving. It's a good character. And at number three, we have JC Exile. Right, so movement four, 12 health, three fatigue. Three fatigue? That doesn't seem so good for a mage. Oh, yes, it does, actually, if you uh, carry on reading more. Maybe you already have. This is mine, but I've heard I do like him. Right, so yeah, three, two, four, two. Mm -hmm. That might have three. It's a mage. Mm -hmm. So, here ability your armor loses all text that prevents you from equipping runes. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. Right, apply plus one to your stamina for each rune you have equipped. Uh, yeah, this could be getting very silly from three to six, uh, etc. I, I mean, you could easily bump that to four quite early and five early as well. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, great. You kind of really start with a well, you want to really want to start with a rune weapon anyway, still, it's, uh, it's all, all good. It's all good. Right, heroic feet. Let's have a look at this. Right, as an action, perform one attack with a magic weapon. This attack gains pierce free. Because, you know, why not? Uh, if you perform this attack with a rune weapon, so, yeah, of course, if, I, if it's a magic rune, yeah, add one surge to the results. Because, why not? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually very good. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just a nice little bonus if it's a rune weapon. If it's not, it doesn't matter. You still got Pierce free. I mean, j j wow, uh, that's, that's very easy to do. Any um, conditions that you might want to do, as if your weapon actually has any condition. Otherwise, that that that's that. This this right here, Jace, Jay, pick it, pick him. O almost uh, a lot <laughs> almost a lot yeah that makes sense because there's still others to deal with number two who is my number two I like this number two because it is high mage quillen he has a minute of four ten health that's pretty high for a mage you know? four stam or grey dice one three five two mm -hmm. Hero ability at the start of your turn. Remember, this is dice. You may choose another hero within three spaces of you. You know, any of them. Uh, if the chosen hero has at least one fatigue token on their hero sheet, you recover one fatigue. So you're always getting your fatigue. You're yeah, taking away. Get your maximum stamina back. But there's more. If they, and this is he, but I think it's better with they because you never know, has fatigue tokens equal to their stamina, you recover two instead. That, that's, an, that's an, a nice little bit at the end, but you know, it, it's something nice. It's mainly this first part where you could just keep spamming whatever you want with your skills which I like. Speaking of spamming, right, heroic feat. Use it to start your turn to increase your stamina by four for the remainder of this turn. Ah, the amount of destruction that you could do with this. Right, at the end of your turn, recover all of your fatigue. <laughs> so it's just a, and go crazy, because you're supposed to. Uh, high Mage Quillen, yeah, he's just, just so good, just with the heroic feat. The hero ability is a little icing on the cake, 
which I could go for some cake. Now I've had a cake. Okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. Uh, no, I'm actually going to continue on because I've still got one more. But like I said, High Mage Colin is definitely my number two. He could have been number one, but I've got a different number one. Let's have a look at my number one. Are you ready for my number one? My number one mage of all time? I mean, uh, let's have a look because it is a Stara. I wonder if anyone would have guessed the Stara. <laughs> I love <I, laughs> her bits. She's so fun. So, move it for 10 health, 5 stamina with a grey dice. I mean, yes, please. That's still pretty good for a mage as well and uh, average movement average uh, second best for major because it's in between 8 or 10 uh, absolutely phenomenal in uh, stamp I mean that's obvious so 1, 4, 4, 2 but it's all about her hero ability once per round you may spend one movement point to remove your figure from the map and place it in an empty space adjacent to one hero who is within three spaces of you. Right, so yeah, yeah. Um, you have five uh, stand right there. If you use one fatigue to use one of your movement points, therefore you still got two more actions. Of course, you could use that spend up one movement point. And uh, place it adjacent to one hero within free space of you. So you're like moving without doing anything. Anything. Uh, <coughs> it does say um, one hero as well. So you could uh, have a good movement of what's that? So you got four. So you have like uh, a hero in range within three. And if you place your hero. After that hero, that would be four uh, movement points, and you still have two actions, and you only just used up one fatigue. This is amazing. This is almost scarily brilliant. However, of course, the downside is that you have to be um, uh, adjacent to one hero. Uh, that that that's the only downside, but it's not really much of a downside. Your mage. You're kind of a little bit back behind, but there you have it. Uh, heroic feat. Use at the start of your turn, which is a little unfortunate, to move each other figure within three spaces of you one space. And uh, I've used this to excellent effect. You have to really think things through. Really sit there and say you are you do want to use a heroic feat if you're going to be using it but you have to really think of which one you want to be moving first uh, and so on and so on um, because you can actually easily make a pathway uh, move heroes further uh, move monsters away or put them in pits and lava and all that stuff it, it's uh, an excellent heroic feat and I love using it but like I said you really have to think things through so Asara is my number one and I love her, uh, she's just too fun. So there you have it, that was my top five mages. So Asara can be found in Crusader of the Forgotten, uh, Quaylen can be found in Lay of the Worm, Jace can be found in Crown of Destiny, Leoric is uh, the core, and Kalara is Bonds of the Wild. Yeah, well. Uh, like I said, this is my top five. I mean, if you found any surprises with this, then that's probably great. I mean, it's always nice to have uh, someone else's uh, view on other uh, characters. But you probably might find some that are your favourites anyway. And then you're not surprised. Oh, well, what's your top five mages? Because uh, I wouldn't know. Anyway, that's all I have, so thank you very much for the time. Bye.